Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, uh, got a little cold, so hopefully I don't cough in your faces. Um, we've been, uh, of course, uh, listening carefully to uh, the different pronouncements coming from uh, President Trump, and uh, I have to say that uh, there's nothing that has changed. Our city is still a sanctuary city, and uh, we are uh, going to remain a sanctuary city precisely because the purpose is to keep everybody safe. And uh, I think the pronouncements today are a little bit vague. They don't have a lot of details. Uh, they seem to be similar to statements that were made during the campaign trail. Uh, but uh, we'll be watching and certainly working closely with our city attorney as to the actual implementation of whatever they mean uh, by streams of revenue and so forth. Uh, but I, I'm here to say uh, that, again, I, I believe in our sanctuary city status. Uh, I think there are hundreds of mayors all over this country that are saying the same thing. And we stand united that a safer city is a city that doesn't allow its residents to live in fear. Uh, I think everybody, regardless of their status, uh, should have not only the right, but not live in fear for uh, being able to report to the police department things that are happening to them that require some action or getting their health care uh, that they deserve or uh, getting the benefits that we offer as a city. Uh, and so I'll stand with the Board of Supervisors as well that uh, we are and continue to be a sanctuary city. I know you have a number of questions, but uh, I, I just want to say everything that I've heard thus far today uh, hasn't really changed, uh, nor has it been any different, nor uh, I think there's been a lack of specifics as far as we know. Mayor yes. Well, uh, I, I know that we receive uh, about a billion dollars in federal uh, monies. I'm not sure if uh, at all, and neither is the city attorney in kind of the language they used about what's under review at this time. I think they use the word federal grants. And so, uh, you know, we, we, we have some federal grants. They're designed specifically to carry out federal uh, uh, protection. Uh, and so we'll have to take a look at what they're actually saying. Um, but it's, you but it's too vague. Oh, well, I, I, I think they were referring to federal grants coming out of Homeland Security. I don't think that they had uh, defined that very specifically at this point. They, they didn't say all federal grants, as far as we know. Uh, so we're looking at that closely and trying to determine uh, in communications with Homeland Security, what did, what do they actually mean? What, are, what is under review? Mayor, you said you didn't know what the total impact would be, but do you know how much we have in Homeland Security federal grants, what the total would be? I think we probably have around you know, 10, uh, maybe around $10 million in specific federal grants from Homeland Security. Mayor Lee, yeah. if you are hit with a loss of funds for homelessness, for muni, for health and human services, how do you plan to make up for it? Well, I, I think, first of all, I think we have to be very clear. I'm, I'm not going to speculate what they're attempting to do, but let's say homeless funds are for veterans as well. Do they want to hurt veterans? Do they want to hurt families? If he chooses to I mean, I, 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 think, I think you're going to be speculating across the country, Phil. I, it's really hard to answer that question. Uh, again, I say that we stand by our sanctuary city because we want everybody to feel safe and be able to utilize the services they deserve, including education and health care. During, during the Unity Rally, during the Unity Rally, you mentioned how trying to find new friends if we lose friends in Washington. Have you made any gains in that department? Well, we're certainly talking with our governor's office and state representatives, because I think uh, we seem very consistent with what the governor mentioned yesterday in his state of the, uh, the state address um, and uh, working relationships there. Uh, I think are very important because I do believe we're consistent with what the state wants to see happen as well. Do we well, want to take any legal after action? After the undocumented community here in San Francisco, they're probably afraid that they might, they might be in danger right now because of this. Well, uh, let me again, and this is why I'm out here today, is to say that uh, we still are a San Francisco a sanctuary city. We haven't changed that and we don't plan to. Uh, we want everybody to feel both welcome and uh, participate in the way they should and not live in fear. And this is why we 
uh, passed with the board's approval, uh, uh, monies to make sure people have access to resources that they need. So, Mayor, is it fair to say no matter what the threat is, as far as the loss of federal funding, grant money, the city is not going to back, back down uh, from its sanctuary status? Well, we're certainly not backing out. Now, we are still watching very carefully what it is actually that they mean. Uh, they use the word streams of federal grants, and we're not sure what that means because some of those grants are designed to carry out the stuff that we're obligated to do, and if they don't want to fund it, I, I suppose they can defund us for that reason. Are you concerned that it will pit people against each other, people who say, okay, you know, this is 10 percent of the city's budget, which they are threatening to take away, yeah. and somehow the city has to find ways to get that money back? Yeah. Well, I, I, again, and, and this is this is why, uh, you know, I do think that and during the campaign and certainly his pronouncements do pit people against each other. And I think it's my obligation to keep our city in unity, keep it strong, make sure that we are taking care of each other regardless of status, regardless of documentation. I think crime doesn't know documentation. I think disease doesn't know documentation limits. And I think that that's why I want to make sure that we are moving as a city, as one city. And this is what uh, I will be speaking to specifically tomorrow when I make the State of the City address, is how can we as a city remain strong uh, in light of uh, this effort to really divide us and, and to make each other mistrust each other. I think that that's the worst thing uh, someone can do, and I think that that's going on in Washington, D.C., and we ought to be against that. We ought to resist it. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you.